This section will demonstrate how to prepare the system for a patient examination. We will discuss entering the patient identification information, selecting a transducer, and choosing a transducer preset. These controls are located in the upper left section of the control panel. The patient key opens the patient identification display for patient data entry. Choose one of these three options to create a new patient study. Option 1. For the manual entry option, press the patient key. Click New on the patient identification display. Selecting New will close the previous examination, including all associated measurements, and prepares the patient data entry fields for new patient data. Enter patient information and use the keyboard tab key to advance to the next field. Select the Additional tab to enter patient history, such as last menstrual period, estimated date of confinement, date of conception, number of fetuses, or medical history that may be included in the report. When using an obstetrics preset, a trending graph can be generated for the current study, for studies saved on your system, and for studies saved to removable media. Trending data is dependent on entering a last menstrual period date or a date of conception or an estimated date of confinement into the additional patient data entry field. The Previous Examination Data button allows the user to review previous obstetrical examination data performed on the system, or to allow the user to manually enter previous examination data into the patient history. Click OK to begin the examination. Option 2. Use the Modality Worklist option if you're connected to an information system that allows you to select the patient from a pre-populated work list. The modality work list will automatically populate when the patient key is pressed. Option 3, Temporary ID. If you need to proceed with the examination, but you do not have the patient data information, then use the Temporary ID option to begin a new exam. To select a temporary ID, press the patient key and then click Temporary ID to begin imaging. Note, you may enter updated patient data within 24 hours to replace the temporary ID if the study has not been exported. The Restart button allows the user to open an existing exam that was created within the previous 24 hours in order to take additional measurements and to edit the report. 